Uh, today, I wanted to ask you all, are you guys minimalists? And if you are, are you doing it because everybody else is? I'm not. I'm not a minimalist. Minimalist. And I don't really want to be one. Hey guys, it's a gorgeous day out today and I am going to take you out and about with me. My glasses. And uh, Melina is going to skippity skip skip. Hello. We have coats on, but we ended up taking them off and I am actually wearing short sleeves. Yay! Hello, Papa! Hello. Don't get me wrong. I'm actually a huge fan of people who can be minimalists. I think that is very cool that you can do that, especially those people that are like so minimal that they can live in tiny houses. That is like the coolest thing ever to me. But I can't be one of those people. I'm just not designed to be like that. I don't hold on to things. I don't accumulate things. I don't keep them for long periods of time. If it's being used, I keep it for sure. I definitely use it. I, but I really, I don't hold on to stuff for a long period of time. I will get rid of stuff pretty easily. You know, constantly, constantly donating garbage bags full of things to the various organizations that pick up at my house. I'm pretty OCD with my organization. Everything in my house has a place, a very specific place. For example, all of my shoes are in shoe boxes in my closet. My clothes are all hung by color and then by sleeve length. Yeah, I am that OCD. If we're being really honest, I love my stuff. I love all my stuff. Every single thing I have in my house, I love. I had all of my furniture made while I was overseas. Most of it I designed myself. And so I don't want to get rid of it. The other day I was doing something at work and I ran across some old pictures. And in it were pictures of... Of me. Of me in Mexico. Yes, of Molina, and then there were pictures of our house in Mexico. And I started looking through them and I just started missing my stuff. And as y'all know, because we're living with my parents and using all of my parents' furniture and all of my parents' stuff, all of our stuff is in a storage unit. And I just miss it. I miss my dining room table with my funky setting in the middle that I designed and created myself. I, I miss my new furniture. I miss my old furniture. I miss it all. If I were to become a minimalist, there are so many things that I would have to get rid of. Like, for example, I would have to get rid of my kitchen gadgets. And I love my kitchen gadgets. I would have to get rid of my pewter serving trays because I only use those when I have people over for dinner. And I have a ton of jewelry and all of it I bought in, in places and I, I remember know. places based on where I bought things. And I'd have to get rid of some of my clothes or a lot of my clothes. And I mean, I walk into my closet now with as many clothes as I have and I frequently am like, I don't have anything to wear. So if I had to go down to a capsule wardrobe, oh my gosh, it would be like the end of times. And I'd have to cut back on my shoes. And I love shoes. Shoes are awesome. I don't get to buy them very often anymore, but I really love them. But probably the hardest thing for me to get rid of would be the Christmas decorations or all my holiday decorations because I have so many and they're meticulously organized so I know where everything is. I guess what I'm saying is be who you are and own it. You don't have to be anyone else. Be what makes you happy. That's what I'm doing. How many minutes when we were home? My legs are tired. If I were to become a middle, minimal, why can I not say that word? How about I call you Melly Butt like I do now? Yeah, but when we're on holidays, when I'm a grown up, you can call me with the Melly. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click on the big laughing face to subscribe to my channel. And I'm putting two videos that you can click on to keep on watching next to me. So go ahead and keep on watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!